Okay, so uh, uh, one of my many weaknesses as a scholar is my lack of Irish, but I decided to compensate by bringing in uh, the pros from Dover. Uh, and, and this is gonna be led by, um, this discussion is gonna be in Irish. Uh, it's gonna be addressing um, Terrence McSweeney in the language. Uh, and it's gonna be uh, chaired and participated in, participated in by uh, Dr. Neil Buttimer, who's a, a senior lecturer in the Department of Irish here at UCC. Uh, who's a well-known uh, scholar nationally and internationally. Uh, I won't get into his publications, um, but uh, he's going to act the role uh, as we, as he mentioned uh, yesterday, kind of like Johnny Giles in the 1970s, where he's going to be player manager, where he's going to be both a director and participant. Uh, and um, this, as I said, this uh, discussion is going to be in Irish. I'm going to jump on back on with about 10 minutes left, and we'll switch back to English uh, and close it out. So, over to you, Neil. Um, okay. Thanks very much. All right, John. Well, hard to fall to Roy with the in session show. Tommy Boyer, then Locht Agar, who quitted doing the part to come. Grimid Gach, Raher and Okaid. Boss Freilig Vixina, Priv Hema, Nakogala. Ta Avaha, Igesh Lesh. It's all doing, Gurdan A, a lyric space, Sukhailge, Agasakal Tur. Our name, Lord Erin Davud. The Trelachor Erdain, Extracht Erin Go Hex Lahan the Gorkig, Do Sanam. De Nomad Kainte, a Gehrige, Agus Kupla Nomad, Hun Kestene, and Son. Beg E de Breed, Nivarahu, Extracht Er Hursi Capadoric, Sukhailge Lenalin. De Nomad Kainte Kishin Lesh. Agus Kupla Nomad Hun Kestene, Irhe. Kirch Nod, Lebjagan Ra Fen Sinach, Isan Huelge. Treshechen, Falt Omid Arash, Riv John Borgonovo, Egor, Reint Nomad, the Fle Ginerata, Emerle. Ta Gachol, Serna Kain Joris, the Noti Bahash Nesha Fuha, Agus Marshen, Irhad Erhrelech, um, and Hed Hedden uh, Session Sahurt. Gurmahagat Erhrelech. Gramagot Seneris, Gramagot Sejanat, Kurahotum, Agus, Kunfalti, the Nahena, Ha, a Gaster. Pankhan Kainte, a Hortes, Erin Gonner, a Gorki, um, um, Marasa, Pergamaracum, Udo, Gur Amirme, in your Trelic Trelic Vicina, um, nor a Seliac Magasin, no Auroch, a Seliac Me, so Tarcher of Maxina, one of her spells, Osmer Pune, or Hannes at herself. Um, I guess it made in right to um, I'm going to my my and kind of who are to me all that are going to let me all their culture and comment. My Tasha and a half to um, I will go make less solish agent Erdadina a VM second. Carry in the Heimel Spraggy from Dulce Connor. Carry in the Heimel Spraggy Nadina Contoso uh, the Horlesh of the Gunner. Morris a goal order Nanina Shin a V trailer. Agus dog she had um a rianer for her the vime. Agus da aus and ha going at a goal order she has got a never going to clear because it's quick in a homie and show. Now couldn't be two stations killed the bono and corner her my capital uh the patient but I'm not clear bonny from Conrad and name a lot trucker uh then the end mill of gear no could see hackney holy the hardly is in the war of a hardly chair mill of gear no can or a dogger I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in in Octave Nokit Sea. Agus Hornigan Pierre Branchen and Gunner Erasera Gorkig in Octave Noka Do, um, we round the Octave Noka Canada Governor's Gill. The we round with Tasha Taylor, Aber in Marquid and Cock National Society in Castle Street, now being Cock National Society, went to the Lesson United Irish League, get away William O'Brien after on. Ach, we in Crenu, Quiblish, Agus Own, Erin in Abron. Octave Noka Cahela, the Savi Magus Mor Ush and a Cahal Crown of the Stavi, Comalo, Dina Marem, and Tarpadro Vera, Vishandun, Vipodic Stundun and Scrivi, 
في دني آلين عن ناشوني بسم الفردنو أغسطين بحيد شاق رابني توري كهها السهر ونقلنا فعلن لا في فتسقور المكا في باكتي أخنوك أغسطة شبانك باكتي أبشن دلوه في توشك في أن كريا بكاب هنو غسطين يدريلن أن كريا بلاها فور أخنوك أغسط ميوانسان غسطين يدريلن ببلي أخر الفعل كان دخلتين برشة نالو ديش بيل نو هو تشتاخن سخامن أجس نرنا رادي يجينا دار في ليخت نأجس تانا ليخت شين في أسبيشي والمار إرنا دينا هوب نليخت شون في أزبان بارغن هوب كيون در عيرش منسفل في أجس تو في دان خب تلمن هوب كيون ألا إرنا فيشن سانجز في أيرلن سو في سايس أنتيب أكر دول أكر إنتلاخ دول أن أبرشين إرشيول سنقريب أوهساخ عيمشي دار تو في وی آن دو این میگن ارن گریف نو چیشین لحن نور نه گریخت اگه از کارکن کین کن اگه از لیان نگیلیه اگه از داری گذیل دو نو آن ای به ویل سارو و خو که آن خیر لانا عریقت اگه از خود را باط لکم ان لوکلاس دوختن عریقت ایانه دگریه در خمور تسمانی خت اگه از کل اگه از یه در نه بونت تریفه هت از خمور تشن تو بیان عریقت خود تاکه که Agus chwyddwyr y môn y gwyr y môn son, agus fyn ni yn ochr diog nôch o hop fi eich ni yn dy chrefach a yn chonach a lonach a gorchig, agus dy fi yn egriach ddig bos, agus fi nath dawn. Harlig egin am gian na, gyr ef dyn o oed hyn sy'n fi eich gref, mawr ef ro hasel eich yn meem y ddiwrs a chor, er yn egriach dy allach y mawr y dyr ham, agus dy chiap dy chrefach no, chrefach no li, Agus yn sychwyf si yn anson, cwydwch beim eid er leon na gweilge, agus er fwyni na gweilge. Agus fel si ad yr fwyl si chan, yn yr ef gyti toga co as lach gri ni, agus gyti ele, a tywyl si ad o fel achrys di yna. Agus fwy dyna co dyna co pleaman, fi bert ach fahoed e fwyn cyn yn sychwyf na osio, cwydwch na li, as bwyl bergen agus dyna co pleaman. Agus fwy capwch Cwyr dreim yn y lir yn cael gweithio'n examen â'r colŵn a sgwelan a il siw a gysyn ni'n dyr rydig a gysyn ni'n glod y hefrys na tangen a gysyn hefrys na hailwch da le ffoel gwy pwybli yn eich gan ffeir ŵr a gysyn ni'n fi aber aber a nart aber yn sychonra a ffoel i gorchig a gysyn ni'n ymlaeth di a a gysyn harlig da fara gyr ef saith a si antas yn sonni yr y corchig a gysyn ffleach di a Mae'r chiaf bafyr yn cwystio nhw'n gynnol am le cri e. Gwyr e'r gwyr e'r cwydys na carti, na carta, y chwyr e'r beheca, a chlach y chwyrha, e gloch chwyr cwy, gwyr e'r o'n o'n as blach. Now, yn rhaid y fi le dyna bafyr chan, a'n ysgeol si'n yr eithaf na si siar, sy'n gwrs eich rhyw o ieir yn y fynsafon roch, da ni hawlig o harlig, ma'r le fi ein ys elig o'r siwr chwyr ma, e gynnol am ydr yn cwystio gynnol agos Fwy'n si'n hwyr yn ffwa pe'r ffwain yn le. A gys da fawr sy'n sy'n rhoi da harlig gyr hwg cref na li teof yn ein si'n hwyr. A gys cwyrch yn cref y ffwyn rhi. A gys bo fawr yn antobus yn ddomen i gorchig. Mae'r fi anni alwn dyr ffwyr yn sefrif sy'n. A gys dy fi yn cref e'n a gys yn egrif y gorchig yn ysle brif. Ac yn taml yn i ieg. Ach, Le cawr o ieg o siol, ia dweud gohar yn tachar padr, agos yn hachar ydyn ychyn safon rach, hon i gmysnach, a fyr yn sy'n egrio'ch yr eich, agos o mi'n y ne geab sy'n fwy'r tas yn cyd o'r trochw. Yr ai, sy'r yn treif si sy'n, a o'r yr yn treif si bara hwle, y sy'n ychyn ar sgohar yr gorchig, agos yr oedd i eich caffog, fi ddod o'ch red, fyr fawr nhw'r ychyn i ddw siad, agos nhw'r ychyn yn tu ar na hachs fwni, yn diogon yn ddiog am. Fi ffesh na cael y ffwrdd na yn chwn te, fi brain sheet yn gwan na cael y ffwrdd y chwn te, chwyr yr tŵs le ffesh na mŵn, agos rhaid ele, chwyr yr tŵs le clas te na mŵn, clas te iluma, agos gyda ni'n clas te sy'n y chwyd, an y chwyd ys na mŵn tori clasig ffosfiwch, gyn i ieb sy'n mae'r mŵn tori tashtel, agos byd na mŵn tori tashtel sy'n, e i ymwyd â ffwrdd na tira, e cap y brain sheet, bonw brain sheet, e gwan y tangen, Agus dwrt yn piersach mi o ddwrha 
Good old Olivia in a uh, my daughter, um, Soldiers of Ireland, by no more than I just go by on that. Um, Gorshin the uh, the Soldiers of Ireland, I just go there, but I say spread and spread no on our shoe and fish, a heart and keen, it's a being fine sinner, surely again, meaning near the Nordic shame. I guess it's few, can't count a hogan than. Then dank it inside and share my pinch. She can't me all her her high door. I guess I say spread vilita. I guess took and she says the face for a vahar away. God, I don't know for her for for the forcey quality of her. Um, my ohasah to be an conra. Um, the writing gone in our mech now be a young black of all the lish quality of Sanagria. Now we hardly be either. Uh, to a water me out of the sale quality of the less more than Gonra, the bay of the coarse quality of the less big Dar Nor Shaheen is more big than a finished door. Marley Galore, Abbott, um, Tina in the wheel, Abbott, uh, Gabriel Piraro, but out in a in a IRE, a tradition, Abbott, and there in the hall, Lewis Denny, Denny, um. Lenius, Lua, Herbie, she allowed her to have a bunny of them here for her. I guess we shan't have all the air in the hall, we shall form the garment of the Quagador. Um, go away, Lily, Irie, and Mark of the Cocktail, uh, Dahara Hawk, we shall have a wall of Thomas Davis. I guess the Higshe, Gerevan, and Tanga, fear for your heart. Manor Echel to her Hosporian, Con have been in a kind of me all that era ganga, a can of hair, but has to go on. Aber ein Tang erlanu. Weil hier ein Tiger, Danny Lane, das ist der grüne Elle, nach der View Flag, aber sehr schön voll der Tüll, aber er hat gesagt, man hat mal Fuß, ich lachte hier Lanuna, er eigene an Fabel. So hast du gesagt, er ist sehr schön in der Tüll, er ist sehr schön Kultur. Er ist das Krieg nicht schön, er baniert ihn an Konrad. Wie ist es in der Lehre, aber für einen in Sevier, der Bieler auch, they get double side in the youngest civilization of Ireland. I guess that she annexed the answer. They have an end of the speed, um, global speed, um, towards glory, uh, in America. Now, not of me, the kind of course, he politic, the snare one of them. So, I let you go on them. Action and size, I bersail to be left in the gun, if he says spread, no, I look, no, near no whole gun. I just go my lesson. The V. Tacht er der en gold tour bär och fyra dagens bedalt han. Hagas nu är vi i ett lev med all det bär och matsivna. Nå kan jag hagas fasta på en as gold tour på det tur. Jag är så sålig när jag får se en sås sasiv intellektuell och fyra vänts bedalt han. Ens det kommer bär och se bunt och klom. Då är det inte mer av vårt ton society. Jag är så det är inte fyra vänts bedalt han. Då är det inte mer av vårt ton society. Jag är så det är inte mer Ach dort deine Kapis und Kapi gelesen, und wo ich dachte, und so andere, die in der Kange ist bedauert, die in der Kange der Tradition, aber sie wird kohu, anamä, wird kohu spedauert, und sie wird das, als ein Bolot, oder wie in der Kange der Kange. Er ist nur, wie in der Kange wird, mir auch in der Kange, aber sie will mir auch in der Kange, mir auch in der Kange, aber ich kann auch in der Kange, aber es ist ein Kange, viel der Kange, and what came up in check hanging or digging parcel who kahuda i guess a cover glitch a bit a hand a history mark well um so much from me how long we have a deal with if no matter you got a really i have my mother dash at the start of green and can catch an act up into talk to her shoulder good not a vicious is darker than orton son martian oh yeah well shin and rod damn and Jag såg en fint små ledjan av dem för mig att vi lär jag 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 är värd annor när det vill se är bäras en kvinna här står den värd annor bolle ska slå för din till henne så kvar kan det är så så ni var inte nischade så att jag inte spelar tur det är jag kan bevara det ska vara kurs i politiken att det vi en kahu Anna ma a chudn kultura fael, a nis ar fael do chuma, forse in sa chanra e. A gus rad ele ba vaila ma ra ma yaw dar a gondra. Ma ni hanun an kultur sa chanra e sna hen vaul din dyr nu, na sna hen frea, vila galer dyr fluil, digis da. 
agus bi corkig ani a flu a dar fa bi chi an an con a con keen a na hian ai bel a bi te sacha ta a glor a mach di a das vai den forsan agus chi a ma hor im lar na be chi an kein der mi sein ach no na be chi an kein der den hier wat die ensch na den wie mach den noch ein vor gar mal mach der corkig a rug of gut to go chi agus der ist da in zu con a corkig a jemitsche agus ta a bi chi ta an 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 ai gri ach chi na das an an chana ka yim ishe er per maksib na potach tuk son shen an pint is mogu wailam i yano ar bar ar fadr freilig shen lagun amach ta nu adom se reintli agus ta sagam an deal mor ebr lar mor ebr ta diantu gud er na fuin chi ni falar no ta amach na diantu gud fein o hen orla o yin ishan liawr fe hibli an o hen no mar shen well if you fuin chi Hanik fwy'n chi elis hem o'r rhai go hard yn Sao America. Mae'n ychwyd yn sgwyn toed o'r rhwyd gwaith gion. Mae'r nori eich yn tu ar afioch yn y gwaith. Ys America o'r hosbynig afioch yn y gwaith yma. Agos, chwm aile sy'n afioch yn jyst yn y hegri o'r ddydd yma ddi. Bi an sgwyn toed o'r rhwyd siwl yma. An so chwm a. Agos, ys America o'r hon. Ys e'r dyn chi no. Agos e'r egen yn no. Y le na tangan. Agos e'r hoch ddi. Ys e bi an tangan. Agus rwy'r adeilydd i poblwch dwi'n cael America hynna ddim, so ni rwy'r ffwrdd bod yma i awr y chwrs i politiaethau, ys y chwrs i politiaethau, agos yna hynt y sy'n mor chwael. Mae'r hans y gwrs yn yr hand yr ymach yn sôr tre eisiau bod yw hwyd, mae chwyn i'r tîm byl i'r anaglis, agos yw bydd yn cael y cadlyf a hwg saith a hynt y stoedd, ac yn sôn hos yn ddihidol i gyd cael, agos hos yn cadlyf i'r hynna, agos yn sôn fi ddeisig na gael, hos ys dach ddihidol i gyd cael, agos yna hynt y sy'n So an tagle fi oedd hyn, gyr rai o'ch afer yn lahant o sain mor chynna, leis yn nhw i. So, fi oedd yn son, fille, er yn nŵchus, fwy parid yn yr oed i, ei yn drawm er lehelig doedd, agos dy fi yn tang, agos dy fi yn kultur. So, ta kultur na gwneud, bod y gwneud trawm er kultur na gwneud America, a sy'n gwneud hyn, gyn dwi heir da si fin, gyn dwi si gyrdas marshlin da, a ch fi yn tang a o'n chwm a. Well, that's all in the same way, but I'm not going to be able to do it. But if you have a list, it's not going to be able to do it. But if you have a list, it's not going to be able to do it. Well, that's all in the same way, but I'm not going to be able to do it. But if you have a list, it's not going to be able to do it. But if you have a list, it's not going to be able to do it. It's going to be able to split it in 1910. Kest ada aksin banusam nada. So turhe me shansat an kesh an aragor to chreilig agus rai mida rai gan son gudi i de breed on as gudli him rit lesh an om thar. Shesh an difriach de idir con rohori an aachana ele shachas an chahir. Okay. Avala me fragl hoort yr anish? Tur le thal o nail mor. Oh yeah, well ta o de vi, a dig as ta, mar agus vi shesh an le flesh an kumas to ma hamach di kultur. A kudag as vi flesh an ar kud ma haik. A well ma la rai fa ga flesh a bed in ir an kud e. Fi an sgil toedach, da gus an a waedir ar fad, fi ne sianaf yn hwgw tŵf ar y dalaf gofol, ac da rai fa an sanach o fad le le bala fi sgil, le awrana ha, a fi ac a, agus ga hihir yn gwn te, wel fi an an tange, me he li a nŵ a nis, a onach fi cwyn y ffos ar na sianna awrana, agus gyn kultur, sa'i thad hes, dwi'n gwrdd efo'n litherach, a fyrd mi ysbertiantau, Nis fashion na, aber o hwyg. Na mar y fi hier, agos da fi sy'n fi cacht o fa er un chi sgrita, agos da fi nwch dain, agos mar sy'n da, fi lefa virla, so fi nwch dain ta fi sda, yn tyna i gwneud mech egen sianna chi, no eg ysgu o li, fi hefli an o'r tyfu blian i o'r llwyd hyn. Ys feil am yr ol, ar gref sy'n sy'n o'r lig le, ced blian rym ysyn, mar fi yn counter son hwyg agos hyr sefyr nor na arrev yn tîr hyr. Ac o'r rheolig, ys tôlim fe hyd yn o hef ama, ac ta am eid bwechtad, tog yn ffein arag wyl i dy bryd hag o hyrn sgoi lawn o chardy, agos am ta am eid y sŵle, le'n ysgeol y chlos, ac cwyr i mi dbyn ach sol gyd i trailach ta eisiau hawl o Montana, a dig yn tau, agos ta chasio ai rhy lwyr madyn bod na'r chahas y ianob, ach be mi dy clos o eig iawn ta am eid yn rhys nor y beg derdy, leis y sesiwn. So, ffaith yr oed i dy bryd, agos ys o gwtso ta yn tŵr lawr mor y dyrta. Rwy'n maag o'r nil. Ffaith yr. Dwi i fgoc eini. 
So, course, fein imun fopir rain plinto hin in all skull herky, a yen skaga or verse the earth gay lock the quid coke lacca is locked co I'm sure prelic mix nips with na. On Ted Levier and Bopir, not on Gaelin Ogs and Folatir, Nijak Shajak and Nijak for her tree, Fianish and a Felirta. Martian Vik Felirta, her glossically of Solish or Yak and Gashachten, a popier and Hunter, a Vyand or Noig, Agas, Jacosfin, Ernadonta or Fad, a Vifalsha own, or Nijak Shajak and Nijak for her tree, in her Ahneus Grev, Trotter down, Er Machdina Lina. Tober Olish, Anna Hot of Vyan. Uh, or Smintkas Politul Parsonra or of Simaho Ikurti Chang and Eganom Gamnishkel Tomalev and so O Rank Noti. Uh, Dahnius Truer Filla Nuskalar is Feha Lalin Nahamaso, Ags in a mask via Laheda Pierce Beasley, Padrohan Rahan, Richard of Faulu Taigo Donaha, Agas Antalanach Tomaso Krin. Finner Fir Hunnerha, Quitico, Fir Milita Quitico, Fir Mori. Muntori stotter vishig agus fuan iskar in a mask. Agus doka and rodas tahti fuina first so glare agus shanskar ban nu goan in a, in a fila in ahid in ahanid. Ach an rodas mo nagar fur na goil na iad glare. Be it Pierce Beasley agus padar a hanrachan a hlaharig an lian bavo dantas a fa pair idaran a lilin tree of sasan. Agus nihain unation in arira othra digar fili raishula and vertical. Yid first sighta in Yurti and Hunnerha, Agat e Kush, Sirshin, Etira, Komakiana. Toscata don to Brydenish, Sonnerha, own own Martica, Agas Nihain Une Shinacher, Tushker Hader, Aung Megarker, Ibrazin, Egsula, Harnablienta. Hello, Harik Tomaso Rahala, Ords Galar Nagailna, Angel Shanadon to Folachul, Leshen Villa Mihal, Ogo Longana, Freshen, Idr Nablienta, Nijig Shajig, is Nijig Shachtig. Agus is gahan e on shan iliasa er horsi politul agus fallent on fabl ko imshra in nig iri mach nijig shijig marshan marshan tadarif er nshgel griff kush koistak lena halaher sa trev shakan heherik on talan ach tamaso krehen tree gahan politul sa chliv salish lelin na trev sha nijig shijig agus nijig fe tree agus bun bunen tahter le leshin freshen mar tashvan she doin Griff Chunacher Farshing egg equivalent of the Ector Lucetir, um, Lyric Shem, Mion Politul, Winter and Ilon, Irgulta and Blaskade Moor, Agus Narhonic Enya Slon on Chunacher Shaw. Um, Priv Hema, so the Dina Skaga or Tami Exula, so far Pierso, Agus Priv Hema Awan, a Honic Conkeen, Agus Meg Skaga and Ananta Na on Griesa. Vi uh, shielta on no shunachas, egg fos and erin fein a blian and ajak shajuk. Vi filian fa pair egg irig neon nartfer on no shunachas ernig, agas on no shunachas polichul, a he of nistangana in agana and anina. File sheach keradon, rimish nejuk shajuk, or rimisham iriamach, a winning let tear graw vegot, on tear a husband, vegnevach in a le agas shas of gumnishke, shas of lena hash. Uh, Sadon of Winter Naharin, Le Pader O'Hanrahan, Deron Filla, of Winter Naharin, on Fader Gamarilev, Lishis is Gela, Don Chlein Locht a Chrekig Shiv, as Winhig Div da Veti, Gachain Roda Hanin Liv, Na Iri Gafuerach, Egleru Gadangan Dove, Gertresha Gwail and Nairin, Na Brain Stoch Nangal. Grisa con Mishnig of Yam, Grisa Namuel con Dushakta, con Tishkina, Agus con Sima a Hur Egos Natira. Dahrig and Scale Darnoig, Inig, Irie Machna Koska, Agus Hit Kyo Hit Kyo Eadochus, Agus Broner, Inton, Agus or Fjower and Fubble, Thresh Bossun Ganary, Agus Ashit and Equivalenta, Vigani Smo Nish Fulesh and Griesa, Osglian and Don, Mishnach Aguila, Falsha in Mehev Nijig Shadig Leshnalinta, Tig Thirsha Inig Rovrida, Thresh Dovig Tig Sinin. So Don Roshin Dov Kurhen Agrik Padrig Mach Pirish, Falsha in Mi Ul Nijik Shajik, Inig Avash, Der on Phila, Biachan Erna na Tilt of Trana Agas Rab for Knik, Biachan Araga na Tun of Darga is Dirt for Full, Biach Gach Lan Schleva or Food Erin is Moin to Er Kri, La Egan Solanekig Moroshin Dov. Gamnishkil, a Grisa con Brahurkish at all Gesh, Lescata Danta, Sidura, Falsha, Gridum, Conderig, Niblina, Nijig, Shachdig, 
Grisa Contrada, Conmishnig a Master Nogloch at Omar over Unta. So Don Sinn Fein, Sinn Fein Awan, Le Fila Nefirna Dershe. Bada Gael Gatre Ganbri, Le Dirsha Cleata and Maroon, Exul Le Fuishev, Dailon Tir, the V Ogli Lego. Ax Gapan Hoshk or Fawn or Mwish, the Guish, the Lean Shin Lawn, Le Sirsha and Lawn, Ata or Mwi, Sinn Fein, Sinn Fein Awan. Grisa ig sul at all gest, snodon to falcha in ajig nejig is nejig feha, grisa concredivin, obel tuk naganri, ags unreal to snua. Theodor girig sirsha went to makanish satir. Falchiachandon, biknish mishnachagurt agut, la tai go she, la lin kogan is sirsha, ags der taig. Bich mishnachagut avanba, ta it araser nitsar ir, a hevig latka shasavuk ingach anacher is borhen. On Grain Gadangan is Garhamid Gabralish, the Aconsail Nahoga Yarig Nuag Gardas Shiahanta. Tashe Salir Gwil and Credov Aunanish Gwil and Tir Gutrin a road in Sirsha. Um, Sadon Galler or Gwailev, Shogrisa Exul or Fad, Agas Tima Kutinta E, Abahe, a mask winter gate Gwailach Nahir and Vidor Kreuta. Gurev Gwail and Mohan Nahra Sasta and Gwail and Alawart, Agas Kreuche. Locked on Connor Gomorvor over Revshe de Gulgus Erha and on Tanga Escapa. Agas Der Pather Sedan so Katershe. The Embower Egnagail shot on Bear Lahahias is no Lauren the Noilen a quail quid gan vri. Agas Gnohi Naharen or Leru a Cobian Sklaferna Gravsa on Virla. Nochtan she doin' and swine of nafil puin bri a bubluk de ve gwin gan goilin of it all lowert inti, agas da dor loch shake or public gan bri gan efort of your home. Agas durin she fuishin, shochu and tang in a saxon the train re, public na herin gan goilin all lowert, yok full of gan efort gan we, yok daul, grime na good goil ve a goil of da yaus eg locht lowerha tanga on virla. In the Gairi Machnikoska, if he peers Beasley Agus Pader, Ohanrakon, in mask on Karakay's far, a Hyolok of Prisun Egsula, her soilus of Ratten. Is Egsul and Mohu of Ratters Nadon to show? Snis in a son reaped your dearsha in Rydenus, Shakas on dearsha a Gwitana, Agus is Nadon to Brydenus of Rahmid on Falling to Ismo. Gamlesh Gale, Tom Trish, Bugger Raggedy, Tame, Ella and Son, Ak near Isagum. Tema on Ulling to Thorgeshen, so. Uh, so, in the Gomleshke, Tom Begoni Nervishok, in the Gairi Machnikoska, V. Piers Beasley, Ags Padro Hanrakon, in mask on Kerakid Fire, a Hyoloka Prisunig Sula Harsalis of Ratten. Is Eg Sulan Mohu of Ratters, Nadanta in a Sunrether, Dirsha in Rizanus, Shachas on Dirsha Gwitana, Agus is Nadanta Brydanish of Rahmid on Ulling to Bavo. Weakness Agus Ain Runa Diberta at all guest, then a Vesaita a Garker, Gan Corda, Gan Cora, Gan Ain Rod, more Himpler, a Glor, Garav, Nagal. Lerita and Brown, Agus and Drovyauer, a Haganlesh and Ganon shall following him. Snedanta, Agus Bratter and Egor at all Ain of Urha, either Vesaita a Garker, Tusk a Tirgra. Codders Nok Lam of Yenau Nagoni, either Aaron, Agus Sassana, Agus being the Philly, Toka, Lesh and Tirgra. So Don a nur coach grace le pader falche mehav nejig shejig der she visa a night biog uignach oit na tagach am gwer bein glor in the nain a churach ein tain am chlosiv ach a garker gan kiol a gahar an chloig im chima a coip an chri riv. Rod Samuel fina first shot in Rydinus na gavurder desho am gaham ve a cadrivlen a choradha irnacha. Agus Dordig she shot a Griha. So Don Kiana, Darren, Pader, Ach da Vede Mufort, Sacharker Fotur, Is Minica Sorka and Biamid, Marta Dina Lemhev, the Hiana Hrev Gwail, a Sprag and Conchain Macrisha, Agus Bimid a Trocht, a Dang and a Mard, Nurgemid and Troch and Sirsha, Harkursi and Tail, Comairach Lehain, Don Marin, and Niran even. 
On Tema Dernach, Aluha de Nov, no Kamora Agus Quina, and Liach Ko Imsharat. Tradishun about E on Filiacht in Erin, Leshna Kate the Blean, Mola, Kamora Agus Quina, a yen of Erliach Nilina. Is the Tis Tlisa not named for Darud Reeve or Hishud a Hrid in Eignangal? Agus is Kaminixon, Iliacht, a yenach on Kamora Show. Is Kasul Nordinak in Kamora, no Quina, or Echti Polichula? Figuri Moor and Iri Mach Sikli of Solish, in Yegon Akra, Akis Doha Gurbe in defence of the Relmat, Behushle Shin, Oitnor of Cad, Ain Over, Kanarkoch, A Aishus Naman. Dinter Kamor, a Gwitna, Ernelecher, a Kailacher, Son of Kusha, a Gwitsnadanta, and Agashina Gum, in Yeg, Yeg Shakjub. Der on Phila, Phila Anahnid Vion, Bratnadrida, Sadon, on Tetu in Lower. Hunnak Salem Ray on Servrat Una, Shotten Fay Rame is Gail in Uchter, a Gianis Gate Fort Aaron Ushla, Hunnaksa or Slua Le Turgan Player, a Kurna Ruiga or Huna Bear, Shinhuina Mortish, Broidish Sclepa, Shin Yuklub Lone is Broita Cleva, Marhig and Huina in Inton Hawk. Dinter Queen Ern Leach Thomas Os a Drigon Snatrevshakon in Yiga Vosh, Leary Ter Own Gravur and Gashka a Yen Shit on Tier, August Gur Esham Lorry, the the Don Dietjo Tier Gur Kert Gamilch a Gach Fars Ban in Erin. Bosiach Thomas Lefiaul, Augsir Stalk Ockers, a Brazun, a Sassan and Egyptian Shock Jug, Augsir Glurg Stod its Brazuna Kogig, thus the Brazuna Erinaka, a Vying even or Sun Kushna Tira. Fill in a fear in a common don to moth os, Augustur Shay, new she Achmarhe clue or Gamish Gale, Mohre Galer, Martoid Fingre, Nefer, the Gurid Gutrain, Achmarhe clue, and Nashke shoot. Shinankam and Charles Gamish Gale. The wound is doing a vet Ulzig a boss, Cider Kroger. Ogloch Aaron, Captain Fena, Trains and R, or Nine Gajo, Mar Wolftone, who Trechta, a cope on Verla, a Hamash Osh. She ech the Schelsha, dog Eris Lawn, to the cross a Hogan, egg Ogloch Aaron. Nihilhin, Mar Ain, Lenor Lech, Gavos, Gavos Glofer, own Vorlin, or Nadal. Nihrekim, Era, no Tomas Os. Contrish is Lair Gorev Wintage, Agus Ahanege, or Quidfa, the Snephilius Scalari, a Vig File Shoe, is Exehru, Filiata Aun? V. Pierce Beasley in Agarhor, Erin Gleev Solish, either Nablient and Nijuk Shachjug, Agus Nijuk Feha, Agus Vian Made Shot Laroge, Fui Kreloch in Agar Uckle, San Eschen Truku Derfor, Nijuk Feha. Near Lower Treloch Reeve in a Hall Counterfeign, Akan Wailen. Agus Yenshia Yihil, Conacher Eichenter Locht Nabopper Nurta, Turski Hurt in Gaelic, Er Heintena Gaelga. The Heil Era Machdilish, the Heil Arm the Heron Sidor Kroga, the Heil and Gaelan, Dinatus Nataki the Bar, Viege, nor four Trailach Boss, Akraiga Voss, a Darva Erin, Agshin Revuig. Nilena or Sacre Federlin, Brett Ervanama Nilena, Tree Stadder Garian of Ernadon to Shoss the Cleave Solish. It's Vader in Twintikas Polichul and Filisha Ahent, she's treed in a danta. Ach Vader needs talk the foes Gamrahamid on Tev Moholoch, Agus Idealoch, Shachas and Element Four Hushoch, Redul, Agashin Olev. Brahamid on Timni, on Skounra, Agus on Fullent, Arainlish on Ardu Cree, on Vishnach, Agus on Untiv, as Ray Organua. Gurv Magwif. Magwif. Agus Gobnish Gelas on Lev, Akvis, Fear and Filisha. Our border fad agree, Agus with us a good, um, is done it us at half us to hit a mordus corkly, no a gourd a higher corkly, Agus fear and Tantu Bjognach at the corbet to Fainer, Rail Horder Dining Son. Um, Togum Fainar, a leshy de breed a gusbegana, a sort of shaklus, go with a garvac, Railic, Shesham, Kahal Maxine, a brew in our name in Enochling and so. 
agus fairn sé fáiltear Ryan Gulair más maliat ach um, an glacadh tú le Ryan Kesch no o Ghaeine tá ceann tá cinneas rís o um, Niall Murray mar hampla um, tá sé cur Kesch dart um, féin áit no féin a háit in a inner field chíoch dánta i aon na chain um, Víðar sér klíf sálisk a gott gan áir is náir Víðar Okay. Agus uh, der der Niall and son be be a hound of kind Dunedin group be a vi fengeven be a noch co fada le maxine treis nei de gshedio. Ach um is is fare Niall nader will ian ahin go ter will mian chor mach a gern a coursei so agus time kinte go mulish of le heiler ball be a. Yeah, shans quit us na don to shans shans nor file she a kid ach the clear solish one. Agus right. nor cruach sna balukon ella falsiach, mar beidir nor dante mor le ra via gest in in okay. a in a hurum fein. Um, Doris and son nor hanig ein o the glo o chreilach in san irish. E nir ha nir hanig ein don le ein smint agus polichul right. o chreilig idir nijig shijig agus nijig fehetri. Agus a revenod um a re a revenod a gehe vur in prosh le hain tans. Ní rósig féachan dyr an bróis níl am cinta. No, fawr. Úl is agat um, tá cúpla hát anis ach a hafag um fénans. <laughs> Mar is mision ghe a dúin edda. Chun bíag an caint a ianaf ach um, ma tá dyr a ráit agat níl a gwing le dolach ráint nú am a tí so rái mea ráig bíad agat ian ráad agam fén. Ach fí sé da frivléad agam da an taid agat sa stúra agas um, tá ás ar manis gwil will, will is agin bóbal cad a fíar súl agat. <laughs> So, um, dear me, fain couple of folk, Lanisha Hard, Ni Lorme, an Edward son, Maram, Gul and Tom McSlownu, Acham, Shamar Kurime Contosige, Renos, Gombuehus Lenile Murray, Asma Space, Sassina, Fuertus Quid Uig, Lord, Erfrelo, Isan Quail, Egil Vrid, and Nurig. Dahanius Gotapig, Nachrev. Anna could write to Fench Gale, Snellower, Le Maureen Chavas, Francis J. Costello, and Nadir Mido Brian. Vartius Marshin, Suila Kahav, Erechid Paul Perry, a UCC, a Museum Nakaharach, Agus a Gartland Kahar, is Kunte Harkui. Another Tictordom of a Hegfiach and Dorta, a Sir Ain Chiele, Grev Maid Ardeh, Den Tanga, is Den Ditrich the Gagane and Aurus. Ní rev tráilach os cian a bhuilí ónta ar fád áfach. Chuir sé an litríacht a láthar i slí ná léiróch a scóip sin. Mar sin féin, bhuin sé lé díirma a yin a gion féin chun gur fár is gur sávrida ar dhishkintirhe sa lá tányavon. So, luin mar hámplu dá chumas in sa ghaelín Cae peis a tae an oldskoel chorcaí a chanig an oldskoel o mílis na cantálaithe in náidiag a seachdiag a sá a scríobh am tráilach an, an, an leorani in bioch sin. Saes an a difrúla clachdi caintea a tae an, tae in a masc cwintí simplu u saide ar nós ceistin na chor na agalaf. Leantar u has súd ar aig chuig seanach a leagas ronta gonta. Is she had done Darlene its Tushkis is driven, Keshtagamort, Kawil to it hasif, Tartar Homaher and Sorta Lanus, Maravia Kutuf Granur, a going get no elaus no naberti ood, Keshtagamort on mo edible bow the Rehon Ergudian Talav, Lesha Maragra, an edible wine dam Yakshe Father Rohin, Agus Gior in the Yegin year, Nahana Ernos, Sini na Feder Aulin, Go. Filiach agus feile nó tríní ná féidir a eiscint fair gué agus grá agus rádi don taisan gjótaí filiach da san áraf. An son nór a chúas ar aig gudí an museum a gorkwe gata áun le seacht o blíin biognach agus gur mar vrántan a sa fúrdar na pá péir o vintar vík sína brúa gú fíl. Tá skata ljáran ag Trailach in a will gar hain as a nuach dan shin the Cork Weekly Examiner. Is she a small town to son na stiff o heher an aher pader e laire, a via tacht la nig lay no derishachten and nig derishachten, er fagnam liant to fada, 
caught in the Hoyer on the Nig, the Ha Rishnari, the Hain Bo Kooling Agasilahid, Achdun E. Trailoklesh, Shachas of Ehena Lehor, the Screech Sheradi, Askwali. Da Rai Fai Raig, Nis Shea Draw Er Huishkirt Nakar, no Tushkirt Nakar, a Shahukfa, Erin Gartlin, a Dorto Hienev, Tash Degan Son, no Pa Pair, a Fagoch, Egg, um, Winter, no Goyalta Stolen, on Te Plini Givige, um, on Pahar Dominic or Connor, is Degon to Son, Ta Litrecha, Idir, on Kailanach, Mihalo Kailan, August Trailer, in Lar Media Gufehe, Nordavi or Kailan, Fragrach, as Aragad, a value, um, er son the Dal Lone, a banner, ni, 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 Tied a kind er arrogant agus um, er him in a value or temple in the tear agus is in whaling her father dinter and gno after her in whaling lesh a queer um trailer agus a marvera corkwig um on task a trash homage vic or tiny of our nor a cognac nor a cognac real to snobratine as on draw vart no novi bonus art has a tongue and again she dorche or divine. I am stripped of the power that should be mine of clothing my thought, however poor in that language, which I could be proud of as my, of my country's and my own. She shin der agur bjogan eacher de von skrini goelinge hum she fein ach kian fanach no ho ata ane himu el adavim o afuiras afuiras gavuiras led div o fiona brennan avega kaintins ach god ach im kredimagas in salyarsh in the music of freedom. Sort Ashlinge at her own, Achni Vine to Queen, the Ochlech na Hashlinge, while Lent to she is treed. Rodalia, the Quig Trailer, Agus Lochna Linge, Shirgadi and Tanner Litricht, Yinche Kukla Drama, Winter Leshen Ruricht, just in the Ulster Cycle, the Hershey Achlo Fain or Hulk, a hard hit and Tlee and her Hershey in the Mana Elaher, Achdamiach Scolarda de Hudna Heimshire, Shah, Ek Shir. Er art no man is scrivene freilig, Sheshin, Gurkartus no manabiognach, Yapene Ebert, her son of Var, Daviet and Gehur Gahana Garov, Nihine and Lev, a young free bader salah Tanyavon, um, a Lev Shear in Salean, Er on Ruricht, Boholem Gamach art nis farshinge, Agus Leer Gus nis farshinge, a hurter van all, a hishkind, uh, Osna Dramuishin. Nila Lochter Freilich, Dignito, Mar Nirev Lefalige Hanuru, the Pescolari of the Vion Lenalin. Tan Scolari, Shintresh Faskumuro Hin, Agas of Wechus are fain, Agas are Lochna Linge, Devil Air of Fain Fuel of Wine, as Instituti, Agas Forisha Hosnu, a lig doing Dilolishan Irish, the Gustation, Kultur, Ishlinis, Profession to Bader No. Nis Gardenuler Valley, na Maravacher Homus Relic, Ach near Valume Lagum Reolershin, Ach and Tahat Suhurto, a Tai Doldo, as Gach Gashke Darienche, Agustarian Winter and Linge, Om Stolen in her Mo and Bjauner a Goltur, na Marata Lebra, a Lahar no Hurde, Nurata in Anachodachin, and Coltur Ken and Bader, and Night no Laughing in it, yet far off. So Fanadim Hostanish Martashe Gestagring. Glechestach or Nash or John Bargonovo, Pre of Agri in the Hawk Hide, Achtan Buechton, Leandrine, Tatres, Frastel, so Clashmi Kupla Foklanish or John, Agus Mucha, May May Fain, or Mahagriff. Thanks, Neil. Uh, that was, uh, I was, I'm assuming that was all great, uh, <laughs> but it's, I'm really glad, um, I'm just really glad to get the language. Uh, one of the things I think Neil and I have talked about has been, um, with the whole decade of centenaries and the scholarship and the discussions is the language is uh, the Irish language has often been sidelined. Um, and so uh, it's great to um, to have this session. Just a really quick question um, to to all three of you is um, to, Was there Because of McSweeney's uh, connection to the Irish college up in Ballingary and 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 his status as a Irish speaker and and his connect, you know, his longstanding connections to the Gaelic League. In the Irish language press, did you find like a, a kind of a special grief about his loss and kind of his identity as kind of a, 
I mean, because he's, he's ticking all the boxes in, 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 the, in kind of the cultural revival, but especially among the, the, the people who are advocating the, the Irish language. So any thoughts on that? I'm losing you. Neil, are you muted? Pardon, I am. Thank you. Yeah. My own knowledge of, of that, I don't have the knowledge to answer that question because I've only really personally totally scraped the surface, you know? I would be rather surprised if there weren't. But um, one, a thesis was done for me um, by a student who's not a participant in this group. And um, the coverage of Irish matters seems to have declined after 1916 fairly substantially. Now, whether there would be such a shortage that wouldn't allow reportage of the death of Trail of Dawn, I would doubt. But I, I cannot directly personally answer that. Mm -hmm. Maybe people like Fiona Brennan um, or, or others, maybe even Ida Breed or Trail, I'll throw it over to them if you like. Yeah, I think when you talk about it, what happened is that the language movement had been subsumed into the political movement at that point. So he was kind of seen more like a representative of the whole political uh, nationalist movement. But I think the most important thing about uh, Max Seven was not actually the re re reaction at home, but the actual reaction in America. Mm. Um, as you may well, as you well know, after the uh, First World War, the um, you know the Irish in America were very much in disarray. They had been supportive of Germany um, as before the, the American entry into the war. There was a lot of suspicion surrounding them. They were kind of, as you say, in East Libre, but downhearted or downcast. But what happens with Ma Max Sweeney's day? It proves a rallying cause. It brings about unity. It emboldens them, invigorates them. And not only that, it's a case, you know, that now touches not just the Irish, but others who look on and see this. It has an international dimension. And Ma Ma Max Sweeney's day basically meant that the British government lost control of the narrative. You know, and I think, honestly, in the whole course of the War of Independence, his death was the one event that changed it all, you know? And I think you had a galvan, what you had, or uh, the coming together and the galvanizing of the support uh, for the Irish Americans and among the Irish Americans, and they started once again to brought the unity to them and they started to exercise that political power that they were not afraid to use prior to the First World War. And Trey, like just in, in your in your uh, backyard in Butte, what was? I mean, yeah, the Butte just I shut have, down. I have a picture of Terence McSweeney at home. Do you know where I got it? I got mm -hmm. it in the shop here in uh, Missoula. It was uh, it, they were very common. That you you it's it's not some kind of a an odd or strange or unusual item. It's very actually you come across them quite a lot. Pictures of De Valera, pictures of Terence McSweeney, and others who were involved in the national struggle. You know, yeah, there was absolute shock and horror in view in regard to all of this. You know, murder, murder, murder. May I intervene here to say that um, a student has just finished a PhD um, in UCC, uh, Kieran Neerian. She also gave birth to a lovely baby girl a couple of days ago. And uh, when that thesis comes out, I think um, it will shed the type of light on Irish-American linkages that Trelech has just made a reference to there. And Trelech is the person who actually suggested that this thesis be written and the American dimension, which he has been emphasizing quite a lot recently, that that be brought forward, John. Apologies uh, for intervening there. No, no, I, I just got a, um, a, an email from uh, a staff member here at UCC and she would just gotten a Terrence McSweeney bust um, that a cousin of hers had picked up in Oregon oh. that dated back to 1920, you know, and, and so I, I think you're, I think you're right, Trey, like, I think, I think there's a whole hidden history of, uh, of just the importance of the event, but I'm especially just interested in how it affected the, the, the language, the language movement, because he, he would have been really of that, uh, of that organization, of that movement. You know? Well, he was, but he was primarily um, a, a political nationalist. Mm. I mean, that's his background. That's what he came out of. And, you know, when he went into these different organizations with the Woodstone Club and the Cochlearie Society and so forth, well, you know, he, he left the feeling kind of downcast. He worked a lot. They were, you know, they were in the different societies. There seemed to be nothing happening, you know. And, and it was when he came into the language that the whole concept of nationalism, you know, takes on a whole other dimension. It becomes, it spills out, you know, 
and it becomes something that's not only satisfying to him on an intellectual level, but also on a spiritual level. He's connecting with a history and a heritage, with a past, a tradition, you know. And this is what he finds there. There's a spiritual, and Cockery talks about it, you know, the way, this spiritual sustenance that he derives from it. Can I just say that Cahal Moxina Brewer has a, a quote here on the right hand side reminding us that Trail uh, Moxivna proposed that there should be a ministry for the Irish language and culture in Dáil Éireann. Yeah. Just to add that in. Yeah, very good. Yeah, and we and we know he's he's like you know he's such a key figure. He's thinking about one of the big things about him as a revolutionary leader is is the way he he views local and national governments as way of pursuing policies, and he and he's actually one of the most innovative of the thinkers in terms of, you know, how you use governance, which goes back to his yeah, background. Yeah, wasn't he yeah. delegated off to look after what was going on in Limerick at the time, just after the new, the new Dáil? Um, was there I, problems in the education sector, down the vocational education sector? Only thing I know is that they were deferring to him, the, the, the Dáil was referring to, they were deferred to him quite a bit on all aspects of local government, just because he'd been thinking about it for a long time. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. Uh, what struck yeah, me on. about him is how marvelously organized an individual he was and self-disciplined. Mm. And I think that must occur. I, I see it in the books done in, this, in the public museum, the cuttings of the papers, like they're, they're as perfect today as they were when he cut them out, you know? And uh, they're, a, they're a marvelous uh, resource for this city and the family are to be complimented to the nth degree for providing us with such wonderful study resources for, um, a, a, fan, a phenomenal Cork man. All, yeah. all, all Cork people are phenomenal, as you know, John. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, you know, you, you read about him when he was preparing to study uh, for his, you know, university degree as a mature student and getting up at, you know, three, whatever, like three in the morning and studying till five. And and then the big supreme sacrifice was him selling off his his library to, to finance uh, Fina Fall, the newspaper, which was shut down. Anyway. Uh, again, again, may yeah. I just say one thing in, uh, yeah. in conclusion? I wish to thank your colleague, Michael, uh, Michael Keneally, mm. for background work here on this uh, Zoom. And, um, you know, all, all the participants and uh, people who forwarded the questions on the right-hand column here, and yourself for the wonderful initiative. And uh, what you have done for scholarship in this area, John, in, in this particular um, period of time, um, Deserve something like a, a, a Nobel Prize, Oscar Os Bairlo. Thanks, Neil. Well, and and really thanks to your panel too, because you, you all went above and beyond, uh, and and it's really appreciated. And so thanks thanks to to, to all I three wish of you. Wish we could join you and Tom Barry's, but that's not <laughs> absolutely. Okay, thanks, you guys. Good job. Good job, John. Good job, John. Um, okay, so we are going to kind of roll straight into our final session, uh, which is without a break, although I'm going to maybe wait 30 seconds or a minute if you want to run off and get a glass of water or stretch or what have you. Um, but uh, we're going to wait to uh, have our new participants uh, swap in here, uh, Dan and Dawn and Kira, if they're out there. Hey, Kara. Hi. Hey, John. How are you? Can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to uh, Dan out there. Yeah. Can you hear me? We could. Oh, yeah. There you go, Dan. Looks good. Hey, Dan. <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> and there's. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Uh, How are you? Hi, hi, Karen. <laughs> okay, so we'll just uh, we'll get we'll just roll straight in. Um, so thanks. This is the last session of this first day of the conference, and what we wanted to do was um, acknowledge and, and kind of highlight a lot of the cultural uh, uh, endeavors that have been going on surrounding Terence McSweeney, surrounding the, the the hunger strike, and there've been a, a number. Uh, and, you know, from, you know, St. Peter's to TV programs and, and what have you. And it's also really important, I think, in this time of, the, of COVID to acknowledge just the, the rough times that a lot of cultural practitioners have had. Uh, and so we want to give them as much kind of support 
as well. And the, the three people we're going to be talking to are all kind of spearheading different initiatives uh, and uh, in uh, history, art history, and documentary filmmaking. Uh, and what we'll just do is uh, just try to give, allow them an opportunity to give uh, a bit of a background to um, what they're, uh, what they have on offer. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit of a discussion. Uh, so not too much. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Dan Breen first. Uh, and Dan uh, is the, he's the curator at Cork Public Museum in Fitzgerald's Park, and he's just opened a new exhibit, uh, which was visited by the Taoiseach recently, um, which is called Suffering the Most, uh, The Lives and Times of Tomas McCurtain and Terrence McSweeney. So Dan, uh, you have the floor for a few minutes. You want to tell us what you have going on there? Hi, John. Hi, everyone. Uh, before, before you start, John, just to uh, tie up um, uh, Professor Treylock, who was speaking there earlier, I just wanted to show something we had in our collection. This was a brass plaque that was given to Mary McSweeney uh, by the women of Butte, Montana. Hmm. St. Patrick's Day, March 1921. And in the corner it says, made of copper, mined at Butte, Montana. <laughs> There's just That's a awesome. little... Again, to reiterate, um, a lot of the material that I'll be talking about in the next few minutes uh, it, w it wouldn't be possible without the s support of both the families of the McCurtain family and the McSweeney family who uh, have basically donated and loaned uh, their entire collections pretty much here to the city of Cork. And it gives us great pleasure to be able to put them on display. Uh, as you know, uh, the last nearly 10 years ha has been a, a, um, a very important decade of commemorations and Cork Public Museum, as well as other institutions in the city, uh, we pretty much every two years done an exhibition uh, to mark some significant event. Uh, starting in 1913, where we, we uh, looked at the formation of the volunteers. We moved on then into obviously uh, the First World War, um, 1916, uh, 1918, and then our next big exhibition was due to launch in March, pre-lockdown. Uh, but Thankfully, we were able to open it last year or last month instead. Um, so for us, um, it, it was important that we, we told the story, of course, of 1920 and the role that McCurtain and McSweeney played in 1920. But also we wanted to touch on their lives as humans, you know, that outside of politics, outside of um, military matters, uh, they had family lives. They had, uh, they, had their, they had their own enjoyments, their own interests. Um, and what struck me more than anything as we were doing this exhibition was just how creative both men were um, and how in many ways they were a link possibly to the, you know, the, the pre-1916 days when cultural nationalism was just as important as actual political nationalism. Um, and... You can see that very clearly in the collections here that have um, wonderful, wonderful material related to both their interests in Irish, in McCurtain's deep interest in music, and McSweeney's deep interest in literary uh, pursuits from poetry to, play, to plays and everything in between. Um, with regards to the Irish language, what's, what struck me is how, um, how, how well they were able to produce their own homemade dictionaries, their homemade resources from newspapers, etc. Um, and you can imagine that, you know, spare time from learning Irish. And I think learning especially was something uh, they never stopped doing um, right up until the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera around and just give a very brief walk through the exhibition, if that's okay. Um, and I'm going to focus mainly on, uh, I'm just going to talk through some of the cases. Now, I, I already mentioned McCurtain, his love of music. There were his war pipes, uh, Corsetina that belonged to his, his uh, 
his wife, Eilish, and also uh, the deep connection. Um, what, what I found particularly uh, interesting was um, how important music was for Max Sweeney and how he, or McCurtain and how he incorporated it into his everyday life. Uh, through the Gaelic League, he set up the Blackpool Orchestra. Through the Irish Volunteers, he would have set up the Irish Republican Pipe Band. Uh, and both would have played a fundamental part in, 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 in what he was trying to do. Um, Max Sweeney then, which I always love this image, courtesy of the Cork Examiner, um, showing the Cork Dramatic Society in 1910 with um, O'Gorman and Corkery. Um, again, uh, due to the Max Sweeney family, we have a large, very large collection of material, uh, all these compositions, as you can see some examples here from poetry, poetry to plays. This is an example here of a homemade English Irish dictionary that he used. Now, boatmen, you can see an example here, boatmen proudly wore their, their fawnias, and uh, this is Max Sweeney's uh, membership card for Cumann the Gael, um, or Conrad the Gael, as it was then. Um, interestingly enough, as we were putting this together, um, we realized that boatmen, um, <laughs> one thing, one difference between boatmen that we, we were very aware of was the, um, Max Sweeney seemed to have kept all his guns. Max Sweeney had a lot of weaponry, um, which we all have here on display, whereas we have only one weapon belonging to McCurtain. Um, but family tradition has it that this gun was taken from McCurtain's widow uh, by Collins and used in the assassination of um, Swansea in uh, Lisburn, uh, several months after um, McCurtain's murder. Um, another very important uh, aspect of, their, of both the men's work was their, their role in the political life, local politics. Um, this is a very interesting photograph. Um, it is the first meeting of the it was actually the meeting of the Doyle, the first Republican uh, council that voted Matt Curtin in as Lord Mayor. Who you can see here, and Max Sweeney himself is here. So they were very close to each other, um, and very often, uh, you, you often forget how, how close they were and how um, they were very opposites, but they worked very well together. And these photographs here highlight um, early volunteers, training days, um, O'Donovan Ross's funeral in 1915, and then a subsequent volunteer training, again we think in 1915. Uh, we subsequently found out the name of the dog is called Rebel. Um, now, we've mentioned already the funerals. Uh, many of your speakers today spoke about funerals. Um, and We've just made a lovely uh, collage of images. And again, these are images that can do the talking. We didn't need to um, put many words or captions on them. And there, again, a few speakers today spoke about propaganda. Uh, and again, I think you can see very clearly from some of the photographs produced afterwards, they very much wanted to capitalize on the pain and, and to, 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 to bring uh, public sympathy to uh, the revolutionary movement. Um, another aspect of the exhibition that we felt was very important was to deal with the Cork hunger strikers. Um, as we know, apart from McQueenie, we have Joseph Murphy, Mick Fitzgerald, and then the remaining nine survivors. Um, again, it, you'd be surprised how hard it was to actually find, and this is true contact with the family, um, it was very hard to actually find a proper image of some of these men. And many of them are when they were much later in life and some such as Thomas Donovan, none, none, none at all. Um, these are some artifacts from those hunger strikers. This is the actual key and lock from the jail, the jail's cross in 1920. Uh, these are, this is a letter that was sent to um, Joseph Murphy's parents after his death. This is Joseph Murphy's pocket watch and his black and tan medal that he was the family were awarded a few years ago. Um, and this is material that 
belonged to uh, Christopher Upton, uh, again, one of the hunger strikers. And the two brooches that you see on the right uh, actually come from his time he spent in Spike many years later. Um, again, we have a lot of the tie-in with the hunger strikes of Terence McSweeney. This is a front page of the Boston Evening Globe. As you can see here, the day after McSweeney died. Uh, below it here, that is the actual pillowcase that he died on. Um, here you will see a, a medal that was struck in Argentina, Buenos Aires, to commemorate McCurtain's um, or McSweeney's death. And this is the prison card that he was given after he was arrested in August uh, 1920. And on it, he was due for release on the 15th of the 8th, 1922. Hey, Dan, Dan uh, we're getting a special request from Cahill uh, Brewer about the um, Albert Power bust. Yes, I'll, I'll move to that straight away. But, but before I do that, I just wanted to draw attention uh, to something else that um, kind of came to light when we were doing this. Um, it was mentioned in some of the earlier lectures about the, uh, the suffragette movement. Well, in our collection, we had a, 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 a woman by the name of Violet O'Brien, who, uh, Violet O'Brien, who, 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 was, who was trained as a nurse in the North Infirmary. We believe she was born in India in around 1890. Um, and in 1909, she went to London, where she joined the suffragette movement and uh, was imprisoned for militant actions and uh, she received a hunger strike medal, which is here. It's the traditional colors of the suffragette movement. And the two bars that you see across, one and midway and one at the bottom, indicate she was force fed twice in October and I think December 1909. Um, she would later go take part in Serbia during the, war of Indo or during the First World War as a nurse and in France in 1917. But again, we're still trying to track down because she's very elusive and she seemed to have kept herself to herself after she came back to Cork. Um, okay, this is the flag that was on Max Sweeney's coffin while his funeral. Uh, this is a lock of his hair in a little locket that was worn by his sister Annie right up until she died in the, in the mid-1950s. And this is an example, or it is a bed card that would have hung at the foot of his bed while he was on strike, or while on hunger strike in Brixton. Now, finally, I'd like to just show, bring you, show you this. This is Albert Power's bust. Um, the museum was lucky enough to acquire this a few years ago, um, and it's now in, in, belongs to the people in the city of Cork. Uh, it's an intriguing piece of work. Uh, very briefly, the story is um, Albert Power, well-known Irish sculptor, was commissioned by the family uh, to do a bust of Max Sweeney. He was smuggled into the prison uh, under the pretense of being a family friend. Gone. You still hear me? Yeah. Yeah. He was smuggled under the pretense of being a family friend. And he had, I think, three to five minutes, he kneeled down, whispered into Max Sweeney's ears and pretend, pretended to be talking to him, while in his hand he had a small bit of wax and a, a few pieces of uh, wood, and he managed to kind of sculpt the features. Now you can tell from this bust, it was never meant to, to show the true form of Max Sweeney. It, it wasn't meant to be too emaciated. And again, it has this religious, um, yes, yeah, this is about as similar to The Dying Christ by John Horgan. Uh, again, it just shows the rebirth, the, the resurrection of the Irish Republic. Um, many commentators would suggest that Max Sweeney's smirking, um, highlighting that he knew his death would actually do more for Irish independence than anything else. And it was, it was him having, per se, the last laugh. Um, now, the story behind it, once he came back to Dublin, Albert Power uh, made this beautiful bust but he was worried that the British authorities would destroy it. So he made several uh, plaster cast copies um, and he hid this bust in the four courts where it stayed for many months until it was transported back down to Cork, hidden amongst uh, a butter, a shipment of butter uh, by the um, Dowdall and Omani company. Um, from 
when the Dodal family found out that we had purchased this, um, they went back to what they had, and lo and behold, they found the box that it was transported. <laughs> so this is the first time uh, these two objects have been together in 100 years. Um, but again, it goes to show how um, without the foresight of many people to actually hold, maintain and keep these things, we wouldn't have their stories to tell 100 years later. Um, and the rest of the exhibition then is very much taken up with images of um, the funerals, both in Brixton and in Cork. And uh, my last word before I, I head back was, I think it'd be no harm mentioning uh, Donal Lobo Callaghan, who was the Lord Mayor that took over, and his role, um, especially him being smuggled to America to testify uh, to US Congress. And here's a picture of him in Philadelphia next to the Liberty Bell. So I think uh, hopefully we'll be open in three weeks and uh, we'll be back open and I welcome you all to come down. Uh, we're open Monday to Friday, um, Monday 12 to 4 and Tuesday to Friday uh, 10 to 4. So hopefully we'll all see you soon. Thanks very much, John. Thanks, Dan. That was great. And you've been doing uh, fantastic work. And it's, uh, it's a testament to not just uh, your institution, but also the, the community that you get so much, so much great material and you can tell such wonderful stories. So congratulations. And, and you know, the bust, I think, gives us a good uh, segue uh, to Don Williams, who is uh, produced a, a new uh, uh, exhibit at the Crawford called Citizen Nowhere. Um, which hasn't opened yet, but um, she's going to tell us about it. And so I'm handing over to Don Williams now. Thank you. Thanks, John. Um, so the exhibition is called Citizen Nowhere, Citizen Somewhere, The Imagined Nation. It's going to be at the Crawford Art Gallery, hopefully, hopefully opening on the 28th of October. We should be opening on the 23rd, just in time for the centenary. But COVID wins at the moment. Um, the exhibition is actually part of, it's supported by the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Graphic, Sports and Media under the Decade of Centenaries Initiative. Um, it focuses on the international legacy of McSweeney's hunger strike and death and the idea of nation as an imagined state to which um, McSweeney's own essays, Principles of Freedom aspired to. The exhibition begins with an illustrated timeline displaying the local, national, international, social and political cross currents in the lead up to from about the end of 1918 and to the duration of McSweeney's hunger strike <clears throat> ending on the 11th of November when um, Arthur Griffiths um, asked the court hunger strikers to, to cease there's their protests. Um, it also provides an overview, which is by no means exhaustive, of some of the many individuals and countries which McSweeney's principles and legacy inspired and influenced to stand against the uh, rule of empire or to assert independence. So we look briefly at a number of individuals and countries, including Bhagat Singh from India, Gumaru in China, which I, I note there's a paper on this. Um, tomorrow or Saturday. Um, Marcus Garvey also, and we also focus on India, Vietnam, um, the USA, Spain, France and Ireland, which is just a small section of the, the massive um, propaganda machine that reached all corners of the earth in, in terms of McSweeney's um, um, newsworthiness. Um, it's quite, quite, quite astounding. Um, through the work of the contemporary artists, the exhibition also considers the idea of nation and explores the complexities of being a citizen of nowhere under direct rule that um, McSweeney would have been or as a refugee to being a citizen of somewhere of, where, of which McSweeney aspired to um, after liberation or, or the hope of achieving citizenship. Um, the artists that we have um, in the exhibition range from um, John Lavery's we have the um, Southwark Cathedral painting of uh, McSweeney's Rec Requiem Mass. Um, um, we have video work by William, Willie Doherty. Um, we have works on loan from Tate and v &A that include Sean Keating and Gustav Metzger. 
Um, and we also have um, uh, Chinese, fig Chinese figures of um, by Li Kui, uh, Li Ji, sorry, um, as well. So it's it's by no means the definitive. You can't do that on McSweeney. It's far too complex. Um, but we're we're trying to present a sort of an overview to the, the sort of dynamic um, and highly influential um, um, legacy that McSweeney created uh, for for towards a, an Irish independence and and also for independence in other countries. I'll leave it there. Thanks, thanks, Don. That's great, uh, and I really look forward to seeing it. And it's fantastic. Uh, uh, just even to have it in the space that you know the Crawford such a it's it's still really conveys uh, the kind of revolutionary time and, and that cultural uh, period as well. So that's fantastic. Um, so finally, we're going to hear now from um, documentary filmmaker Kira Highland, and she is just finishing or finished uh, a new documentary series um, on Terence or Sweeney called Seventy Four Days which is going to be presented by Dr. Sarian Buckley, who we'll be hearing from tomorrow, I believe. Uh, and uh, I will hand it over to Kira to tell us a little bit about her film. Hi, John. Hi. Um, hi. Um, okay, so it's a one-hour documentary um, for RTE on the last 74 days of Max Weenie's life. Um, it basically, it's going to air Wednesday the 21st of October at half nine on RTE1 and we're actually currently at the moment uh, in the process of finishing it. So I didn't actually get to log in to the rest of the conference today because we're up to rise in the edit. Um, but um, like John is in it, Dan is in it, Niall Murray's in it, uh, Sarah Ann Buckley is our presenter um, and it was just amazing to, to work with Sarah. Um, I suppose, do you want to ask me questions? Because I'm not as prepared as your other two to be prepared. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, what, what, one <laughs> thing. Presentation going, I can't match that. No, no, you know what, Dan Dan blew out the uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's got, the, got the butter, pull, drops the butter box on you. <laughs> Doesn't he's have the bus, but... I'm really sorry. I've actually been in a dark cave before <laughs> for most of this week, so um, I'm probably you're probably better off. <laughs> now, hey, Kira, really quick, like, what was um, so, I mean, what was your like? What was what was something that surprised you about the McSweeney narrative or the McSweeney story or the narrative of the hunger strike that you kind of weren't expecting to find? Well, I suppose the, the main thing is we actually, um, and thank you, Dan, we got copies of the original medical records from Cork Public Museum, and they have a copy of them from Q. Mm -hmm. And they're the original records that the medical doctors would have kept day by day. Um, and I found that really fascinating. It was amazing to just sit and read through them. And, you know, there's really intimate details of like his temperature every day, his heart rate, his pulse. Um, what what they were treating him with and a lot of kind of um you know a lot of sort of very personal details and you know kind of the doctor's observations and stuff and I found that really really amazing for me it kind of really made the last 74 days of his life really really come alive um, and we use them a lot in the program and so we're very grateful to um, I suppose everybody who's ever been involved in preserving those records and, and making them available to us now. We also got um, a, a contemporary um, account like a, a modern kind of take on the medical records because we had um, Dr Phil Kieran and um, a psychologist Eddie Murphy have a look and give their modern take from a modern science point of view and it was incredibly interesting that juxtaposition between um, I suppose medical knowledge 100 years ago and and now what our perspective on it would be and what was also really interesting for me was the, the whole ethics the whole ethics of the hunger strike I mean this is what drew me to the the project in the first place I think it's an extraordinary thing for somebody to do I think it's an, inc an incredibly powerful thing for somebody to do um, and an incredibly brave thing and it's such a powerful way of making a protest against an injustice to put yourself and your body through that and to have the willpower and the iron discipline to see that through because you believe so strongly in a, in a principle. And I suppose it's back to what Dan was saying, what really interests me is like Terence as a person, you know, like how does somebody do that? How do they physically have the willpower to 
can see that through, especially when they're surrounded by a family that absolutely loves them and a, a wife and a, and a small child. And so for me, it just, the Max Sweeney story has always gripped my imagination and gotten inside of my skin and gotten inside my head probably the same way it gripped people's imaginations 100 years ago and echoed around the world and echoed um, down through the, the the decades in so many places globally uh, and in so many freedom struggles globally so yeah well, that's great I mean like yeah it's um no and I think Don's really kind of teased that out as well you know this the this all the the strength, the way it just strings along throughout and, and it encapsulates all these ensuing generations of activists uh, kind of around around the developing world, especially, you know, it's remarkable. Do you want to come in there, Don and all? Or are you? Are you uh... No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would also, I was thinking of Kira was um, when you were just talking was, uh, I, I've always been interested in, in Mary McSweeney. And like, it's when you see the and I'm looking forward to Leanne Lane's and Jerry White's papers on the McSweeney sisters, uh, I think on Saturday, but I've always been struck by, um, like it, when you realize how vulnerable he is in those, in those reports and the medical reports, it's like, it's like, it's like Mary's kind of going in there and lowering her shoulder and kind of bust and kind of helping hold them up. That's kind of, I mean, is, is that your, that's my sense anyway. Yeah, I mean, I know at, at at various points, Mary was kind of maligned, you know, and it was kind of almost as if she was portrayed as almost as if she wouldn't allow him to come off right, the hunger strike. Right, right, right. Kind, of, kind of manipulative, very controlling force. And I actually don't really buy that. I think that's probably the typical demonization that happens to strong women in history. I think mm -hmm. Mary uh, suffered a little bit from that, especially because of her anti-treaty stance later mm -hmm. on you know, in the twenties. Um, and I think, I, I think, I think he did it of his own free will. I, I very, sure. very much think his complete and utter decision and his family in this extraordinary way rolled into support him. I mean, I, I personally don't know how they did that. I don't know how they, they went in there day, day in, day out and supported him, not only supported him, but ran this amazing PR campaign as well. I mean, the, you know, the, the fact that the story did echo and resonate globally is largely down to the interviews that those three women gave, that Muriel, Mary mm. and, and Annie gave. An extraordinary thing to do for them, I think, on a, on a very... And being, and being in such public limelight, you know, imagining going in to visit your husband and then having to sort of collect yourself and then go out the gates of the prison and then just be barraged by international press. and. You know, that was in some ways the mistake that the British government made was transporting him into the heart of international press land in London. It might have been a different story if they kept him in Mount Joy or something. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like, and, and it's like the, and I think part of what it really draws people is, is as you said, it's like a bat, it's a battle of wills. And as the, as the body, as the body fades, the kind of spirit is holding on. And that's what's, that's what's, I think that's what made it such an international, it was like, it was an international drama. That's the, yeah. that's the, that's what I think we, we sh should view it. I mean, cause it was just, it was a, a such a human story. So, yeah, and which, totally. yeah. Yeah. Tomas, uh, Tomas McCumra, who I think you had on earlier. Mm hmm um, he has a quote in the documentary um, where he goes, it's a tremendous par a paradox that basically as Maxwini's body got weaker, his power actually grew stronger. You know, it's that physical, it's that physical wasting away, but it becomes replaced by this amazing moral, I suppose, moral force and, and moral stature and moral power. And that for me, I suppose, as a documentary maker, I just find it really fascinating. Yeah, I, I remember Grace Neville, who's, as, as I think I put in the comments, uh, she was the one who kind of retrieved that uh, Le Petit Journal uh, image that we're using for the for the, the poster and stuff. And uh, she made the point that one of his appeal, one of the reasons that so appealed was like in the wake of the First World War and mass death. And actually, we're probably now appreciating the Spanish influenza pandemic and kind of the, when 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 the the the, the idea of, of death was everywhere in European society in 1917, 18, 1919. And so the idea that you would kind of take this path in, in, on your own volition and on your own will which had a real emotional resonance. It might not have had at a different, at a different period, a different decade or different year, you know? Right, right. 
Yeah. Okay. The, uh, can I just? Yeah. Did, just to follow up there, when you were saying about Mary, not only was um, the Terence's sisters and family had to deal with the, obviously the the circus and the the pain and the trauma around his uh, hunger strike and his uh, funeral and etc cetera, etc. Cetera, but you know, Mary would have probably um, definitely took on a responsibility for Max Sweeney's memory following his death. Mm. And, you know, she to continue. And that's kind of underlined by a, a, a kind of an interesting letter we have here in our collections where she writes to the curator of the Cardiff Waxworks exhibition in 1922. Uh, yeah. I think she was complaining about the likeness of Max Sweeney at that exhibition. And again, um, again, you know, two years after his death and probably right until she died, you know, she would have constantly defended her brother's image, his legacy, uh, and, um, you know, um, so outside of the, the obviously international aspects of and the uh, influence of his death and what it did, I, I think you kind of have to, just for a minute, uh, remember, I think the impact it would have had on his own family and how mm -hmm. I say Max Sweeney must have been a shadow that was always there, you know, uh, Terry Terence was always a shadow that was there, probably um, right right to the end for all his uh, his siblings. And I think you put it well too, Dan, about like their cultural, their like their real cultural animals. Like they're they like they 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 follow the arts. They're they're, they're practitioners. They're they're into they're into all these different things, and that must have really been one of the reasons they're propaganda campaign was set. like they think they were always they had a real m creative mind for getting their message across in unorthodox ways and i think mm -hmm. that really comes comes through and i think that's one of the reasons it was such a a global moment you know yeah definitely definitely well listen um i'm going to um sh shut this out so uh dan how long are you guys going to be as is, is the uh exhibit uh remaining for well, uh, due to COVID, it's been extended till December 2021. So okay. hopefully you get to see it at some stage next year. No excuses. Uh, and, and then Dawn, what about you? How long are you, are you uh, ready for? We're going to um, January the 31st of 2021. Yeah, so just after the new year. Okay, Figures, Okay. Congrat good luck and congratulations. And then, and then Kira, uh, when are you uh, uh, broadcasting again? Uh, we are due to broadcast Wednesday, the 21st of October um, at half nine on RTE1. So I'd be very grateful if you'd uh, leave your tellies on and give it a watch. Um, <laughs> that's if we get it finished on time. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, there, so, get, back, yeah. get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, thank you guys. So I want to I thank, thank uh, Don, Dan and Kira. Um, for a great, really a great session and a good way to close out this first day. Uh, and again, um, I want to thank everybody who has contributed today, our, our different panels, uh, especially our chairs who did a great job uh, and our technical support who really um, made this all work. So uh, we are going to shut down shop uh, for this uh, day one. Uh, we'll be back to you tomorrow uh, at noon and we'll be running till about six o'clock. So uh, from UCC uh, to uh, all corners of the world, uh, we wish you a, a good evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.